The five tips I'm gonna share with you in this video just help this creator get over 70,000 followers and this creator over 330,000 followers and you could blow up your TikTok account too if you implement these five things without skipping any of them. Tip number one is you need to make sure that you're starting to use the inspiration tab on TikTok. If you've never seen this before, it's basically gonna show you a bunch of things that are trending. So here's what you need to do. You need to come over to your TikTok profile, click in the top right-hand corner, those three lines, and then what you're gonna see pop up is going to be TikTok Studio. And if you go in here, you're gonna be able to see a bunch of different things. You're gonna be able to see what content is trending, what creators are trending, and you will be able to see exactly what kind of content your followers are watching, what other pages your followers are watching and ultimately what content your followers actually want to see and you need to make sure that you're coming in here in order to spy on your competitors find out about competitors and ultimately to know exactly what kind of content your audience wants to see because the only reason you're stuck in 200 to 300 view jail or the only reason you're not blowing up on TikTok or you see other accounts in your niche doing it's because you're late to all these trends you're behind on all these trends or simply you just don't know what you should be posting in your niche and TikTok has finally solved this one once and for all with that inspiration tab. But just doing that isn't enough. You also need to make sure that you're posting at the right time, you're using the right hashtags, and a few other things I'm gonna share with you towards the end of this video, but using the right text in your content. Because if you're using the wrong color text or using the wrong program to add text in your TikToks, well, boom, it's gonna be the reason you're not blowing up. But before we dive into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna go quicker on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, I just created a free TikTok growth course. You can get it at the pinned comment below. It's gonna share with you things like how the TikTok algorithm actually works and a few easy ways that you can monetize your TikTok no matter how many followers you have. So what are you waiting for? Go to the pinned comment below and get into that right now. Okay, so in order for you to actually figure out what time you should be posting, what hashtags you should be using, we should be doing is using that inspiration tab, getting a bunch of different competitors from there, and then you can literally come over to this free website, Count Tick, type them in, and it's going to tell you exactly what you need to be doing. So I'm gonna pull up TikTok right now. We're gonna take this creator right here because they're the first person that pops up. I'm going to X out of this ad from here. I'm going to come into TikTok tools, and we are going to come into analytics. Now, once we get into analytics, we need to place this user name, move me out of the way. We're going to click on this right here, wait a few seconds. And what this is going to do is populate all this person's content. Now I know these ads here are incredibly annoying, but this website's hundred percent free. So we just have to deal with it. So we're going to scroll down a little bit. What this is going to tell us are the average amount of views that this creator is getting the average number of likes, average number of comments, average number of shares. But more importantly, it's going to show the most used hashtags that they have, which what do you think you should do? Do this for four to five competitors. And you're going to have a list of 20 hashtags that you need to be using in your content. And then if you scroll down here, we're going to be able to see what time they're posting their best post. So if we scroll down a little bit, let's say we have this post, this post, this post, and this post, we actually see a really clear trend here. So this post didn't do that well, 7,000 views. This post didn't do that well, 3,000 views. Posted at 8.30 p.m., posted at 7 p.m. Now this post got 100,000 views and was posted at 1 p.m. And this post got 17,000 views above average on their account and was posted 20 minutes before 1 p.m. So what does that tell me? That 1 p.m. is probably a really good time to post in this niche. But again, you wanna check this for four to five different creators so you can get a good feel for exactly when you should be posting and what hashtags you should be using. At this point, we've gone over exactly how to find what's trending in your niche, how to find other trending creators in your niche, what time to post and what hashtags to use. But that's not enough because there are three other things we need to make sure that you're doing. And I will warn you, skipping these next three things I'm going to share with you will be the reason you fail to blow up on TikTok if you don't listen to them. So now for the actual content you need to be creating on TikTok, because there are a few pieces of content that do way better than others. And I need to make sure that you understand that. First and foremost, videos over one minute long are the biggest hack right now on TikTok. They rank for search better, they get more views, and ultimately they keep people on TikTok for a longer period of time. And if you know how the TikTok algorithm works, that's one of the most important things that TikTok actually wants. And TikTok has literally come out and said that they are boosting videos that are over one minute long versus shorter videos. Now I will contrast that with saying, five to 11 second videos do really well right now too, but a few things need to be present on them. First and foremost, there needs to be text on the screen that gets somebody to read that text. And ultimately by the time they finish reading the text, the video should already be done. And what this does is causes the video to loop, which means that you're getting a hundred percent completion rate on your TikTok. And ultimately TikTok is going to see this. And then they're going to push out your content to more people. So long as you're using a trending sound and the text that you have on the screen looks like the other trends 
going on under that sound or is actually something that there's a large audience for on TikTok. Now, the next thing you need to make sure that you're doing is going live. I would strongly suggest you go live at least once a week on TikTok. One, it's going to help you make more money on TikTok. Two, back to keeping people on TikTok, lives keep people on TikTok for a really long period of time. So while your live is getting pushed out, guess what else happens? All your past content ends up getting pushed out as well. The third type of content you should be uploading are going to be carousel images. If you haven't seen yet, TikTok actually just launched a photo app, but they're probably gonna end up just warping that into TikTok because they're pushing out photos like crazy on TikTok right now, so long as your carousel fits a few different criteria. Typically, they want you to post more than three images in a carousel, but I have seen single image and double image carousels do really, really well, so long as they have text on the screen and they have a long description that makes it really easy for TikTok to know exactly who they should be showing that content to. And then finally, you need to make sure that you're taking advantage of the green screen feature right now. I cannot emphasize this enough. Green screen makes it really easy for you to show a news article, makes it really easy for you to show a big brand, a big creator, a celebrity, something in the news, or another viral video, and ultimately, this is gonna allow you to easily talk about things that people actually care about on TikTok so people get interested in your content. Because if you wanna blow up, it's as simple as you talking about something people already care about and you having an interesting take on that. Now I will warn you, these next two tips I'm about to share with you are by far the most important. If you skip these next two, you're gonna have absolutely no chance of blowing up on TikTok, so please do me a favor and just sit through them. I think you're gonna be really surprised by them. So the next thing you need to make sure that you're doing is you need to have text on the screen when you post something on TikTok. This is the most important thing you could do and you should have between three to 12 words on the screen and you need to make sure of something. The first and foremost, it's either black and white or secondly, it's in red. Those are the only two colors I would have the hook be on your screen on TikTok. And here's the deal. If you're not doing that, well, guess what? It's going to drastically decrease the odds. Your content gets pushed out unless you have some other really good type of hook on the screen. And there are two other ways that you could actually be creating a hook. The first one is going to be the sound that you're using. And secondly, it's going to be what you're doing on camera. For example, if you're facing away from the camera or if you're doing something like that, that will capture somebody's attention. Or if you're walking away from the screen or if you're not actually looking at the screen and you're doing something else, or if you're holding something up that's crazy, all these different things are going to act as a hook. But ultimately, that hook is going to get 70% of people to complete the first three seconds of your video. And if you have that happening, you are going to be on your way to blowing up on TikTok because that's basically the first step of getting somebody to complete your video. Because if they don't get through those first three seconds, there's no way they get to the 50% mark or complete the video, which is what TikTok is really looking for. Which brings me to by far the most important thing you need to be doing on TikTok right now, and that is ignoring the amount of likes that you get, the amount of comments that you get, and the amount of people that are saving your posts, because those three things mean absolutely nothing if you could get people to share your content. In fact, if you scroll your For You page right now, most of the posts you're gonna see have a lot of shares on them, and guess what? They have a lot of shares, and that's why they got a lot of reach, and shares come from multiple different places on TikTok. First and foremost, if somebody duets one of your videos, that counts as a share, so make sure you have duets on If somebody stitches one of your videos. That counts as a share, so make sure you have stitches on. And then other than that, somebody can share it to a different social media platform, they can repost it, or they can share it to somebody offline. And if any of those things happen, it's going to increase the odds that TikTok actually pushes out your content because every single time that that happens, that then prompts somebody to come back to TikTok. In fact, the easiest way that TikTok knows to get somebody to come back to TikTok is for somebody that they know to share something with them that was on TikTok. So obviously, what is TikTok to do, they're gonna show more people content that gets shared, which is why if you're not focused on getting shares right now, you're never gonna blow up on TikTok. On top of that, if you feel like you're struggling with anything else, I personally wanna help you. The same way I helped this creator gain 70,000 followers and this creator over 330,000 followers, I wanna help you too. And that's exactly why I'd strongly suggest check out this video right here that explains the three ways that we could work together. Because we could hop on a phone call, I could audit your account, or I could work with you one-on-one -on -one for over a month to guarantee that you grow on TikTok. If that sounds interesting, I'll see you over there.